Hi, this is Javier Encinas. This video is a quick overview of the basic capabilities of the ASDIP software. We currently have four products, ASDIP Concrete, ASDIP Foundation, ASDIP Retain, and ASDIP Steel. I have created shortcuts at the desktop, but you can also start any of them directly from your Windows Start button. Let's start, for example, ASDIP Foundation. When ASDIP opens, uh, the project manager shows up. From here, all basic uh, file operations like uh, creating a new, new file project or uh, open an existing project or save your project are only possible in, in the project manager. Also, you can set here the uh, system of units of your project and uh, also information and uh, preferences for, for your projects. Uh, in the project manager, you can also manage your calculations. You can copy, delete, rename, create a calculation, or open a calculation. Uh, if you, for example, want to create a calculation, just click on any of the buttons at the left pane. Uh, let's uh, create, for example, a, a spread footing. Uh, name your calculations as some short, meaningful uh, description. Let's put, for example, uh, uh, footing uh, type uh, 1. Click on the Add button, and uh, this node was added to the calculation tree at the right pane. To open the calculation, just uh, double-click uh, on, the, on the node that you, that you just created. This is a calculation sheet of uh, spread footing in, in ASDIP Foundation. It's designed with uh, two panes. The left pane has to do with the input and the right pane uh, with the output. Uh, um, in, the, in the geometry tab, you can uh, input here all the dimensions for your footing and, and your column. Uh, and the next tab is uh, loads. Here you can uh, input the loads uh, on your footing. You have two options. One is uh, pre-combined uh, loads, meaning that if you have the reactions from another software, you can uh, use those reactions here. They are pre-combined. If you have just the nominal loads, uh, 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 dead, live, uh, uh, winds, uh, uh, seismic, you can input the loads here and uh, 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 ADDIP will uh, combine the loads per the load combinations of ASC 7, uh, 05, or, or, or 10. Next tab is geometry. Here you can input the F prime C, F Y, all that uh, properties are for the footing and, and, and for the for the column. Uh, the reinforcement tab uh, lets you uh, uh, model your rebars in the footing and, and on the column. We have multiple options to, to model to model that. Uh, and uh, finally, the general is uh, with uh, information of, of your product that you can uh, use for later. Uh, use. Uh, in the right pane, you have uh, the output. Uh, the at a, at a glance uh, tab lets you see the results in just one screen. So you can see uh, just at a glance what went wrong, if, if everything is okay, if something failed. In this case, the very pressure is, uh, is failing, it's, it's, it's overstressed. If uh, you want a more uh, detailed uh, set of calculations, you just click on the condense uh, tab. Is the same results but organized by topic. More information on that. For example, uh, you can see you can see here uh, uh, the overturning uh, uh, transfer. Uh, here is the the flexure, oblique, and, and 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 so on. So you can see uh, all the results in, in in more detail. If you even want more detail than this, go to the next tab, detail. Here you can uh, see all the calculations with the formulas exposed and. Uh, with references to the code, like this. It's a reference to, to the ACI. So you can check everything step by step, step by step of the calculations with the formulas and, 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 check, and check your results. Graphically, the program shows graphically uh, every single step of the design. In the bearing tab, you can see here that the, in this example, it's a, uh, it's a partial bearing. This white uh, triangle indicates that this corner is not in contact with the soil. So it's a partial bearing with the uh, maximum bearing pressure is here and at the pressures are at the corners. Next tab is one way shear. You can see here the shear generated as a result of the bearing pressure exerting a pressure uh, uh, upward to the, to, to the footing creates these uh, forces, shear forces in both directions. Punching shear, same concept. 
the bearing pressure uh, pushes up and uh, creates these uh, forces on, 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 on the on the uh, on the critical section around around the column d over two from the column phase. In the flexure, you can see here the moments generated as a result of the bearing pressure uh, pushing against the, the, the footing in both directions. So these are the moments uh, with the critical section at the column phase. In the column uh, uh, tab, you can see here the interaction diagram of your column or your footing or your uh, pedestal. Uh, here, this is the capacity of the column, and this uh, dot indicates the actual load. So you, if it falls inside the, the useful area, your design is, is okay. Construction tab, you can see here a nice sketch that you can use uh, for uh, when you prepare your drawing. This is uh, showing the dimensions of, your foot, or, of the footing and, and, the, and the column that you just created with the rebars. Uh, so this is a very uh, simple uh, uh, overview of the way uh, ADIB works. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.